Well everyone it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S21 and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S22 and see which specific phone is the better one for you. Now I think the S22 is probably the better phone than the S21. But there's a lot of similarities here for sure and we'll definitely talk about that throughout this video. Now starting off side by side the Samsung Galaxy S21 which did come out in 2021. And these have on the front a 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display and it is a very east panel. You know it's 1080p it was a downgrade coming from the S20 which is very sad but I think it still looks like a pretty decent panel. It's a flat display hole punch display. It's a good panel 120Hz and I would definitely say the S22 also it is like kind of the same type of panel. So I don't really think they've changed that much maybe these panels have gotten a little brighter or something like that. Other than that they still look almost identically the same to me. The S22 on the other hand has a little bit of a smaller like a tiny bit smaller 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display. And this one is also still very good. It's a very decent panel maybe it looks like it can get brighter but they're still like respected 1300 nits. I don't know what that's about but they both look very good. I've always had really good times with Samsung panels and this one is no different you're getting 120 hertz on both as well which is nice and definitely between both I like them both. They're both very solid panels in terms of thinness and thickness. Going on there with the camera modules you can also tell that the triple camera setup is slightly bigger on the S21 around the S22. You are still not getting micro SD card slots in either one of these phones but you are getting wireless charging and reverse wireless charging from both these devices which I actually like a lot. There's definitely a lot of overlap and I definitely do like both of these devices which is so beautiful but personally for me I definitely do think like a phone like a Galaxy S22 is a really good phone. I think it looks good on the outside but I think the S21 for it being significantly cheaper than the S22 may make a little bit more sense to buy too. Now in terms of software and longevity both of these phones are going to be still supported with software but the S21 has a higher likelihood of still being supported for a longer period of time meaning that the S21 is going to end off sooner than the S22. This is perfectly fair this happens every single time any new iPhone or any new product comes out. So again it's typical it's nothing anything crazy we haven't seen before. So it totally makes sense there's not much we have to do about it there either we are just gonna have to wait but basically the S21 will end off sooner than the S22. Now let's go into a speed comparison between both of these devices with the Galaxy S21. We have the Snapdragon 888 chip chipset inside with 8GB of RAM. With the S22 we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset inside with 8GB of RAM as well. I think the loading speeds are very similar sometimes the S21 is faster sometimes the S22 faster I don't know if there's a consistent winner every time though. Now getting into the camera side of things I do think both cameras are very solid you're getting triple camera setups on both wide ultra photo lenses you're getting 8k capability on the back 4k 60 on the front which is beautiful very solid cameras on both as well like I've always felt. Both these cameras are very good and there's no exception here between either one to be honest I feel like with the Galaxy S21 camera this thing was very solid. So in this thing you're getting the ability of zooming in a lot 30x zoom you're getting 0.5x zoom on the outside too which is pretty cool. And overall it's a very good camera. So overall the sum of this entire video what I'll tell you is I definitely do think the S22 has had a better at least throughout the year last year than probably when it first came out. If that makes any sense this one has a lot of improvement to do. But I do think in this day and age I could still look very good fun to pick up clearly. 
I think the S21 is a little bit more surprising to me mostly because I didn't really like this phone when it first came out but now I like it a little bit more because it's gotten so much cheaper and it is A. Very solid phone to pick up as well so I would probably say if you're on more of a budget the S21 might make more sense but it's up to you. The choice is pretty much yours as at this point if you have any other thoughts or questions though let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that will be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly everything else. I love every single one of you guys hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.